To the US where Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to introduce her yet to be named running mate at a rally in Philadelphia on Tuesday. She's interviewed around half a dozen potential candidates in recent days. Front runners to serve her as vice presidential choice include Governor of Pennsylvania Josh Shapiro and Governor of Minnesota Tim Waltz, reportedly the two finalists, as well as Arizona Senator Mark Kelly. Before that choice is made, Harris is expected to be officially named by the Democratic Party as their candidate for president. Her upcoming rally is part of a tour of swing states those where Republican and Democratic voters are evenly divided. Well, for more on this, we turn to Peter Matthews, Professor of Political Science and a man who has run for Congress as a Democratic candidate last year. Peter, good to have you with us. Can I start by asking if you understand to be true what we are hearing, that this is now a race in two between Governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, and Governor of Minnesota, Tim Waltz? I believe it's going to be those two that are the, they are the finalists, although Mark Kelly was in there as well until very recently. He might still be there, but these two are probably the most likely to be the finalists with one of those two becoming the next vice president if they, they win the election. So, yes, I think it sounds like a, that's probably where it's going to be. It's lying right now at this point. Peter, the switch to Harris between, seems... Between Shapiro, yeah. Sure. The, yeah, the between, switch between to Shapiro Harris... Shapiro and Walsh. Sure thing. The, the switch to Harris seems to have unsettled the Trump campaign and delivered very good numbers in polling with younger voters. What does Kamala Harris need most from either of these two men? She needs to have uh, one of two things from each one of them. One is, of course, broad-based support in the Midwestern states, those blue wall states, but those swing states in the northern part of it. That's Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania. And the other thing is to have support uh, in terms of the policies that she supports and also be able to work with the people. So you look at uh, Josh Shapiro, he brings Pennsylvania, he's the governor of Pennsylvania. He won his last election with a huge margin against a Trump back candidate. And Shapiro has a very good oratorical skills. On the other hand, there's been some concern about his position on Palestine and Gaza and Israel, but we don't want to lose, they don't want to lose, the Democrats don't want to lose that progressive base that is insistent that the war should end right away in Gaza and things should be Israel should be secure as well. So you don't want to lose the progressive base by going with Shapiro only necessarily. All he's got is strengths. But Waltz has strengths in the sense that he's a very good communicator. He's been in Congress for, uh, I think it was six terms. He's been a governor for a while in, in uh, Minnesota. And he's very good on communicating in a simple way. He's a former high school teacher, high school coach. He brings together a very folksy type of approach. And he is, in fact, uh, a person who would appeal to broadly to the working people out in the countryside, the rural people, rural voters, which Democrats need as well. Both of them have strengths, of course. So the Democrats are, are now running the younger, fresher candidate uh, in Kamala Harris. Who of these men, uh, and you spoke to it a little bit, who of these men helps the Harris campaign convert this newly found momentum and money into votes in those swing states that you mentioned? I believe as far as the younger voters go, the under 34 year old voters, it would be Tim Waltz because he's, uh, his ideas are very progressive. He believes in, um, you know, he's been actually, when he was in, in governorship, he brought in free school lunches for ch children. He talks about uh, child care for everyone. He also talks about student debt. And he's appealing to the young people a lot because of his humor, his communication skills. He's also going to invent the term weird. Uh, recently, the Democrats have been attacking the Trump side as being weird, kind of out of the ordinary, in other words, and bizarre. And that's been resonating. And Tim Waltz was the originator of that. Young people have put memes everywhere, all over the, the Internet, especially on TikTok and places about boosting Kamala Harris and also bringing in people like Tim Waltz. So I think Tim Waltz might help a bit more with the young people. But then Josh Shapiro has appealed to a lot of other people as well. So either one of them would be OK. But I think if she wants to be sure of not losing any support in the border states. You don't want to lose support in Michigan. And the problem is that if Josh Shapiro is, is one selected, it's possible some of the Michigan voters who are Muslim Americans and Arab Americans who feel very strongly about what happened in Gaza might right. think that uh, Vice President Harris may not be so strong on that if, if she, they see it that way. We'll have to wait and see on it. Another big 24 hours in US politics coming up. Peter Matthews, Professor of Political Science. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you so much.